Emergency crews were still cleaning up after an overnight Russian attack in Zaporizhia, Ukraine, when Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky met with former President Donald Trump in New York Friday. In response to VOA's question, Trump repeated his claim he will quickly end the war in Ukraine if elected. I have a very good relationship, and I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly. Zelensky admitted he cannot win against Russia before the U.S. presidential election in November. We understand that after November, we have to decide, and we hope that the strength of the United States will be very strong and we count on it. That's why I decided to meet with both candidates with all honor to them. Zelensky met with Vice President Kamala Harris, the Democratic presidential nominee, in Washington Thursday. Unlike Trump, who is pushing for Kyiv to strike a deal with Moscow, she underscored that it is up to Ukraine to decide how the war will end. I will continue to stand with Ukraine, and I will work to ensure Ukraine prevails in this war. Without mentioning names, Harris criticized Trump, who often boasts of his relations with Putin, by saying that calls for Ukraine to end the war by ceding territory to Russia were, quote, dangerous and unacceptable. Tensions have been brewing between Trump and Zelensky after the Ukrainian president recently rebuked Trump's claims he can quickly end the war. The president of Ukraine is in our country and he's making little nasty aspersions toward your favorite president, me. Earlier this week, Trump blamed Zelensky war. and the Biden administration for prolonging the war that followed Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, saying the United States could have made a deal instead of supporting Ukraine with weapons. Trump's claims created further anxiety not only in Kyiv but also in some European capitals. We're very attuned to signs that somehow Washington will take a very different tack when it comes to policy on Ukraine and when it comes to uh, how hard a a stance to take with Moscow. Republicans are also angry over Zelensky's visit to an ammunition factory in Pennsylvania, a hotly contested battleground state in the November U.S. presidential election. They alleged it was a, quote, campaign event designed to help Democrats that amounts to election interference by Kyiv. Pat Suidakuswara, VOA News.